Hey everyone, it's Dave here, and today is pretty much the most special day in the history of my channel, maybe even my life. Some of y'all already know this, but after 3 years of uploading videos, I finally hit 1k subs. Quite crazy how the journey went and what things I had to pull to even make it work here. We'll do all the formalities at the end of the video, but I was thinking for this milestone it's gonna be a good idea to look back at my channel and how it even started in the first place, because I feel like I have a unique story comparing to other VR YouTubers, and I guess it's gonna clear up why I'm like branded as a psycho. <laughs> Believe it or not, when I'm going to my videos, officially it says this video is like the first one. That's not entirely true because the actual one wasn't even published publicly. The story is that I never liked doing videos of myself particularly. I always found it very weird or even cringy to pull up like a phone and just like record yourself. That seemed a little bit ridiculous looking back. At the time I barely moved to Paris and I was fascinated by a show called Top Model and I was watching the Polish version of it wanting to participate one day. There was a lot of shit that went down. I made like 3 4 videos about it. One was even taken down by the actual producers because I exposed their manipulation techniques and how the program was being rigged from the beginning. It was a mess at the end of the day. So then I really didn't have a trajectory for my channel because VR for me was not even existing. And originally I thought I'm gonna be like a cooking channel because like that's my profession. But with a twist that I was getting drunk while doing it. Nothing really original, it was already done on YouTube. But then like this whole video here kinda started the end of me <laughs> because essentially I lost all my money to some damn big in Nigeria that scammed me like at this moment the story doesn't even make sense nor is important to remind me but like literally my early videos were crazy looking back I've not watched this in years so I have no idea what's gonna be happening but I expect it to be really rough because I was doing everything on my phone like editing uploading like I had no PC no nothing to do a proper routine that I do nowadays so how I did it back in the day have no idea Okay, the audio is not even <laughs> correct. What the hell is this dirty pillow on the side? Eh? Disgusting. What have I been doing? Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is pretty cancer though. Hey, that's quality content, yes. This is what I'll be doing, ASMR water, because I'm stressed now. Like, what the hell? I didn't think I would be stressed. That is true, I like didn't even consider myself to be like appropriate for the camera, it was nothing natural that I do it now and I didn't behave like myself, so early days were pretty rough. No, he's, he's fucking dumb. Oh yeah, because of the noises. I'm kinda surprised that for an editing on the phone, it has a lot of cuts, like a lot of changes, transitions, so I really spent some time on it, even though it's not up to my standards nowadays. I don't know if you could even tell that it was edited that way. I feel like I was going for ADHD editing, like very much cancer, very all over the place. I don't know why, it just seemed interesting at the time, I guess. I was thinking so much about doing video to start about YouTube or whatever, because I was... um too bored with my life, obviously. <laughs> One can, uh, knows that when, when, uh, if I am in the uh, at <laughs> See, I can't be funny. I mean, it's cringy to laugh at yourself, but it's not the worst that I've seen. I uh, exercise here. I can't go to the gym because um, I'm uh, insane. <laughs> and <laughs> my uh, exercising routine is a little bit weird because I can't exercise in clothes. <laughs> Oh, okay, so at the time I was exercising and for some reason I couldn't do that in clothes. I was basically nude in my apartment alone doing push-ups and doing that completely naked. Like, who does that? You can literally call the cops on me if you see from the window. I didn't know that I have like, it's not like a stress or whatever, but I can't organize thoughts when I have a camera on. I'm getting angry at myself because I have a high expectations for myself, so I don't know why it's happening right now. Like. What the hell? It's true, like I hold myself to higher standard no matter what I do, it's like my character essentially. I can't do shit things because then I'm not comfortable with myself and my output that I do. I have to first satisfy myself and reach my standards if you're talking about videos or quality of the content that I do. It's essentially like a personal challenge that holds me back and I guess it's fair. I have like a pretty weird and interesting life. One of my like goals, like goals or whatever, is uh, to write an autobiography basically because first it will sell. <laughs> it would be a really fascinating for anyone to read it from a different perspective that I have because for me everything is like fine. 
but I know that my life is not fine. <laughs> It's still in my projects though. Who knows, maybe like making this video, this is gonna be like a proof in the future, but I do believe my life is so fascinating and I did not share a whole lot on my channel because VR pretty much took over it. And I did some videos before that with a glimpse what was going on, but truly I feel like one day I'm gonna write a book and it's gonna be crazy, I can tell. I didn't even bother to clean because I'm like, I'm a pig. So in the frame there's my bed, which is basically covered in and like in the Thanks. Um, Get me the fuck out of this video. <laughs> mm, yeah, this is not something that I will do nowadays, that's for sure. <laughs> I was also doing this one, like how I describe myself as a YouTube personality. I'm a sort of a crossover between PewDiePie and Genoma Abbles. Rest in peace, by the way, hopefully she's doing amazing. So after like cooking ideas, I thought I'm gonna do like a storylines or rather just crazy stuff like painting a beard, which I still do nowadays, obviously, and just trying out stupid stuff. Yeah. I did look interesting, that's for sure. And then like the VR came. I mentioned it before, but my whole VR journey started with YouTube proposing me a live stream of Virtual Reality Oasis. And at the time it was a reveal of the Quest lineup. I have a think with myself that very rarely my personal intuition sent me some kind of signals that, oh, this is for you. This is what you should pursue. And that's gonna be essentially your future. In life, I pretty much followed by that rule because everything that I did that I felt was right ended up essentially playing a very big part in my whole existence on this planet and that's basically how it started i ordered quests and i started doing videos immediately no matter what so i pretty much never tried that before i was pretty insecure about my play space or rather how i'll even move with the headset i was making like a bed when i can pretty much just stand on while playing because nowadays obviously i'm playing on my bed but with no planks no like wood as i'm showing i'm like comfortable with the locomotion and being in virtual reality that i don't really need anything stable under my legs to play properly but essentially i built like a second layer on top of my bed with hardwood planks and ceramic tiles to simulate like i would be playing on the floor believe it or not i was sleeping around six months on the hardwood surface purely to just play vr and record that was my sacrifice my fucking back this was just a whole mess of the period but i love that you know looking back and seeing the journey because i was doing some crazy shit and then like the first vr clips appeared so editing everything on my phone. Remember Quest still had insane desyncs and the footage was all over the place but I still managed to put out content that you can watch. Like everything was working fine. The only thing kind of my voiceover was not very much loud and clear enough because I didn't have a microphone. So the clear focus was the content and I was just basically on the sidelines playing. Some of the videos I wish I could repeat because I played a really good series that to this day kind of hold itself. Some did not even make to the channel because it was literally impossible at the time to edit it out or rather lose the whole footage. I was mad. I was mad about Republic because it was an amazing experience that no one saw at the end of the day. There was also like a period of go ports that were available on Quest and it was dropped immediately so Oculus was just testing the grants I guess. And this period essentially started my whole PC editing. Then the quality really ramped up because I had no excuses in terms of making content because I already got the budget and figured out my life enough to focus on the quality. First I did was Asgaraf, obviously. That was like my biggest project at the time and I wish I could repeat it now because it's amazing. Like it has some weird mechanics like the combat but it still holds to this day and it was just very fun. I think at the time I was hitting like 100 subs or something. Yeah, here is the first special that I did. It was exciting to me personally because I was happy about every single like or view I got on the video. I really paid attention to that and was just grateful anyone cared about my content. I really did a lot of videos, huh? What's the concrete numbers? I think it's gonna be a high one. <laughs> 826 videos. Oh my fucking god. Basically matching my number of subs and videos. It's good to know, I guess. I didn't even keep track of it. And I suppose I didn't really choose a proper channel name because some rapper is covering all my search bar with one just song. Maybe that's why my channel is dogged because no one can really search me up. But if I write VR... Okay, yeah, so now it appears. Looking back, I'm very much proud of my channel. I essentially built something from ground up with absolutely no knowledge, no just 
guidance of what I was doing is like such a big part of my life nowadays that I do nearly everything for it. And with me crossing 1k subs, it's not gonna really change much aside from just putting more quality stuff. Like we have this whole thing that I'm gonna be able to put ads on videos and start to support myself in that regard. Y'all know I never did it for the money and that mentality will stay forever. Like this is too important for me to care about some trivial things like make a fortune from it, becoming a celebrity. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for any contribution or just even being here. This is truly so important to me that I can barely explain it. I love this channel more than I love myself. That's quite a lot if you can tell by now. It's just awesome being here and putting the content that I'm happy with. It could be always better, it could be improved and it will be at the end of the day. It's just that with my current schedules, work life, everything that's going on, I'm doing what I can. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now and see you around as always. Alright, let's do the damn thing! Last time we did the same technique with the giveaway and it appears to be the most transparent and fair to everyone so basically we're gonna pick 11 numbers that can't repeat in the sequence. The first one will get a headset and 5 next ones a random Oculus game of their choice so I feel like that's the most correct way to do it, no BS, no just hiding around the corners and let's just go with it. <laughs> So here's first six, now let me clean up the list. So congrats to Buzz, signed headset from me. And other five, congrats as well. Send me your, an email with your request of the game that you want to get. Buzz do the same thing, but send me like, I don't know, confirmation that it's actually you that's reaching out to me. I just want to make sure the headset will go into the right hands because it's better to be overly cautious on the internet and not be completely delusional that everyone is nice. So the other ones that didn't have any luck today, don't worry, maybe next time. I mean, we're doing the tier list next month after Christmas. So if you watched that last, Last year then you know a next giveaway will be coming anyways that's pretty much it from me today i just better go back to the editing cave <laughs> see you around